watching live coverage of the Whataburger Bassmaster Elite at Neely Henry Lake, sponsored by Abu Garcia. Welcome one, welcome all. For those of you that have been watching all morning long on FS1, welcome to Bassmaster.com. Continued coverage of the Whataburger Bassmaster Elite at Neely Henry. And for the first time this week, we have seen a gap at the top of our leaderboard and at the very top of that leaderboard, old Bob Downey trying to chase down his first Elite Series victory. But uh oh, a guy that's already laid claim to one of those titles earlier this year, Jason Christie in second place, Paul Mueller in third. And this tournament, what we have learned hour after hour is man, that leaderboard is gonna continue to change. This is the first of two stops in the great state of Alabama. We're gonna be at Lake Gunnersville next, but this week our playing field, Neely Henry, part of the Coosa River chain. And as you can see, our anglers spread out all over the map of this 12,000 acre body of water, a relatively small body of water, Ronnie, but for such a small body of water, you would think the tails would always be the same, but it really just seems like you're following a bouncing ball and it depends what hour that ball is bouncing right for that particular angler. Yeah, we've basically seen three different anglers this week. Brock Mosley, day one leader. We saw him working a walking top water on bluff walls, catching good fish, spotted bass as well. And then we see Paul Mueller take the lead, throwing a shaky head and a, a chartreuse and blackback square bill. And then today, Bob Downey with a swim jig, taking command unofficially. So we're seeing so many different views. And when that water continues to fall, up the lake and continues to rise down the lake, we will start to see even more factors come in like a Jason Christie late this afternoon. Well, it's it's almost Whataburger time, so that means it's time for our Toyota Midday Report. And let's start it off with the G-Man, Gerald Swindle. And man, everybody wondering, is this the time where G finally has his eyes on the prize? It's no can work here, man. He's been relying on yeah, one main thing, like day one, course. day two. I'm going to throw that buzz bait all day long. It's given me an inclination of what's going on, but today we've seen him switch up, seen him flip some of this grass, seen him go and adjust and fish different types of cover as well. And that's what it's going to take. It's hard to lock in one thing to win an event, especially with as many changes as Neely has had. We don't need no stinking rods. Gerald Swindle obviously improvising there after breaking off a fish earlier today. That's a spot. But no matter how it looks, getting it done here on day number three. But a guy who got it done in his very first Elite Series event, Elite Series rookie and Elite Series champion, Brian New. New, such a short, short career with Bassmaster so far and such good promise going forward for a great career. He's learned at all levels from the back of the boat to the local level to the semi-pro level from the front of the boat. That wasn't my and fault. now an Elite Series champion and an Opens champion. We're seeing him kind of explore a couple key little areas and spots on this place. Not necessarily a pattern. We'll see if he can develop one today and tomorrow. I didn't think it was possible, but I think you named every part of the boat there, Ronnie. But here's a guy who has caught them all off parts of the boat and every single tournament known to man a five-time classic qualifier, still trying to win his first ever elite, and that's Todd Ott. When you see Todd Ott on our camera coverage, he could jump up and surprise us doing something else, but he's doing exactly what we thought, throwing a bladed jig and doing it to perfection. And then we go over to the guy who's been the hottest angler on the Elite Series this year, Seth Fighter. He's already got a third, already has two sixths. He's trying to make it another top 10, Dave. You are dropping those numbers like bombs, and Seth Fighter always dropping those bombs and has avoided a bomb this entire year, and that's what puts him on top of our Angler of the Year leaderboard and everybody questioning if Fighter can get through this. Look out with Gunnersville and two northern fisheries to close out the season. Is this Seth Fighter's season to finally win that Angler of the Year award? We'll have to find out. We'll have to pay attention all the season long. A lot of fishing ahead. But Seth Fighter, I would say at this point, has officially got it done here at a stop that so many people said this could be his Achilles heel. But let's bring out a two-time Elite Series champion and a former Bass Nation National Champion. And the guy who's kind of doing things a little different this time around, Ronnie, 
Paul Mueller. Yeah, I kind of ragged on him yesterday a little bit. I was confused as why as to why so many people picked him in Rapala Bassmaster Fantasy Fishing. This doesn't really set up to his style at all. He loves deep water. He loves finesse fishing, picking it apart with his graphs. And that's not what Neely Henry has displayed this week. Yet, Paul Mueller showing his versatility. He's one in Florida. He's one in 60 feet of water. And now he's doing well on an ever-changing river system. And he an incredibly versatile angler, but a guy chasing down his first Elite Series title from Wisconsin, Old Bob Downey. We've seen every day someone get in a rhythm yes. and run with it. Day one was Seth Fighter doing that. We saw Josh Strayson do that a little bit. Yesterday was Gerald Swindle really running with what he thought he could win with. Yes. And now we're seeing that with Bob Downey yeah, man, today. And he's doing a little different, staying on that main river. And now that he's got a good limit, he's going to go explore even farther north to uncharted territory. Maybe. And Downey, our current leader, putting together a pretty consistent event as well. Not only does he have roughly 12 to 13 pounds today, but day one, Bob Downey had 13, 15, then backed it up with 13, two. Now he's got almost 13 again for a, an event that you cannot be consistent in, and it's very hard to do so. Bob is proving consistency has him at the top spot for a reason. We're gonna watch Bob Downey fish live right now on our Toyota Midday Report for the sixth stop of the Bassmaster Elite Series here at Neely Henry on the Coosa River. Downey now exploring new territory and he may make it work even if the water is higher and above the grass where he has gone. The one key thing is he has shade and that is something that can really help a shallow water bite during these conditions in the afternoon. And exploring new territory, like you just said, Ronnie, I think that's one of the biggest keys. And that's kind of what I was talking about a little bit earlier. You have to minimize your time looking and maximize your time with it locked in your hand. And you see these anglers in two different stages, you know, when they definitely get onto that bite, we saw one of his flurries earlier today, but, but the amount of time you need to maximize your time with it locked in your hand and minimize the amount of time you spend looking. And but, but looking is the key that makes it all come together. And man, has it come together for Bob Downey. What's well, incredible, I was mentioning his consistency. It's hard to be consistent on Neely Henry this week with the changing conditions and what you're doing. He had 13 pounds and changed both the first two days of competition. Almost has that today. And yesterday he had a five pounder. Today, just a lot of solid fish, no kicker. If he gets that kicker, that's the chance to get 16 pounds today and have the biggest bag of the event possibly. True betting hooked up. I don't know if he's 12 or not. I don't think so. Thank you. He's close. They just relax. The ace 12. <laughs> Another 10 ouncer. But it's number five. Not quite into the top 10 with that limit fish right there, Dave, but Benton now with three fish under a pound on his bash track, and he's still in contention God, for the final day. Dude. Oh my calls, and he's God. gonna be in good position. Here like a big bag. Please don't come off. Oh my God. Come here, baby. Come here, come here, come here, come here, come here. Come here. I got you. Mm -hmm. Let's freaking go! Wow! Mmm!
Got him, shake it. Five and a quarter. Neely Henry, baby. Thank you, darling. Mm, give me some on that. Just like that, Ronnie, one hook set, and man, what a difference a big bite on Neely Henry has made here this week. Our tournament leader, Bob Downey, talked about a big bite yesterday. Well, the little ball of hate comes out swinging with a giant fish here on semifinal Sunday. Wes Logan trying to make it inside our top 10, and I think we can truly agree, Ronnie, this is going to be one of those championship Mondays that literally anybody in the top 10 has got a shot to take the title. That is a huge fish. It has eluded him the last two days, losing one on day one, losing one on camera yesterday. To land that one for Wes, going into possibly making the final day on your home body of water, be huge for him momentum wise still one more to a limit for him big might big bite makes a big difference and look at that at the beginning wow. of this segment we talked about the big gap in the leaderboard well oh, oh that gap just tightened with one hook set from west logan with 39 pounds three ounces just ahead of him old bob downey with 39 15 both of them chasing down their very first elite series title the Yamaha VMAX V6 SHO continues to deliver the level of performance.